This, for me, is not a race or a desire that started the other day. This, as I said in the debate last night, is a 22-year race. When from the year 2000, very early in my, in, in my, in my early years, I, I felt that new blood, fresh blood, professionals, men and women of faith, of integrity, religious people, professionals like myself need to get into the leadership if this nation has to move forward. But the, the reason is, um, like my running mate said, I am tired. 59 years after independence, I feel no, 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 no. Same promises, same people, and we don't see results. I felt no. And during my time of searching, both so searching and reading right there, I discovered this because, look, the leadership we have, the leadership that wants to come back, can't move Kenya forward. 59 after independence, look at the high prices that we have for food, essential food stops, living cost of living, look at the level of unemployment, look at the level of uh, debt that we have. And yet, we were born at the same time in the 1960s, like other nations that left us and went way ahead. And the example I have is like you're born together in this village or area. Like I came from a village, my home county is uh, Nakuru County. That's where I grew. I was born. That's where I went to school. It was in a farm situation. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, the children of one, a child from one neighborhood goes ahead and goes way ahead. And, and, uh, goes even up to PhD and other levels. But the other one, the parents want to educate, but the kid is refusing. And 20 years, 30, 59 years, you can't tell the difference. And they both had equal opportunities. And when after examining, I discovered it's because the lead, we have not had leadership that really cares for Kenya. We have not had leadership that acts. Leadership is from God through the people. A leader is like a shepherd on one hand, or a caretaker, or a provider, or a director, or a CEO. He's supposed to be fair, equal, share equally, get for, organize, not steal. Because I'm also an ordained minister. I, I can talk a little from the Bible. Mm -hmm. There was one leader whom I follow very closely, King David, and the Bible says in Psalm 78, verse 72, that he shepherded Israel. Kwa Kiswahili nasema, alichunga, alilinda Israeli. And, and that's what leadership is all about. Elsewhere, and I know even other books, they have got writings in Asema. Leadership is speaking for those who cannot speak for themselves, sharing for those, sharing equally, defending those without rights, and looking for opportunities for people. So I'm in this race because I feel where we are. If this nation has to move forward, from the problems I mentioned, and I just mentioned four, and they are many. We 